And so I was doing hypnosis. I was teaching people how to talk to their angels. And it really freaked me out because I was getting really popular. And I even had a yellow page ad and I changed my phone number because it scared me. So it's been quite a journey. And so I did many different modalities and just following. And for a while there, I was self-employed and I was just doing healings and I was broke all the time. And I remember one day I w- it was Christmas and I didn't have enough money to pay rent. And I didn't have money for my kids' Christmas. I had two young sons. And I walked on the beach and I said, God, if you want me to be a healer, then you pay my rent and you pay it now. And with an hour, one of my clients knocked on the door and gave me a check for $1,500. It paid my rent and it bought my boys Christmas. And I was blown away. I still couldn't maintain it. I ended up going back into the workforce and then still doing some trainings. And I remember doing these different trainings and just being frustrated because nothing was fast enough. And I remember telling a friend of mine, or she reminded me about this a couple of weeks ago. She says, don't you remember, Tamara, you'd say, I want to do it like this, like this, like this. It's not fast enough. She goes, now you're doing that. It's like, God, I do remember that. So, cause I'd get some results, but not, you know, as, as many as I wanted. And then in 2012, I ended up over in England and this is just a crazy story. I could talk about for an hour, how I ended up getting there, but I'm not going to, but I remember in one morning going for a walk and I'm like, what am I doing here? I mean, I only had $200 in my account. I did not have a credit card. So one morning I went for a walk and I went through this. I love the old graveyards in England. They're just beautiful. So I was walking through this graveyard and I'm yelling at God, what the hell am I doing here? And I heard to go to the Roslyn Chapel. So I booked a train and a and b for the next day and went to Roslyn Chapel. And I was also told to contact a client of mine that lived in Scotland and have her meet me at the church. So she, she said, okay. And two days later, we're sitting in the pews at the church. And I said, okay, God, I'm here. And when I said that, I heard to go into the Cossack records. So I went into the Cossack records and I'd been trained to go into the Cossack records, but it was only to get information. And when I went into the Cossack records that day, I saw Bean standing there and I'd never seen anybody in the Cossack records. And I asked him, who are you and what do you want? And he said, I am Lord Metatron and I'm here to assist you. So I said, okay. And then this energy started flowing in to the top of our heads and it was like spiraling in like a tornado coming in and then it was followed up by these golden like coins these golden seals and they were stacked up on top of each other and when we were done our heads hurt we were dizzy and so we went and had lunch afterwards and then she was kind of a little freaked out about what had happened me too (laughs) you know it's like wow that was crazy I never had an experience like that in my life and she was driving me back to my bus stop to go back to my B&B. And when we were doing that, I heard you're now crystalline to give these to others. 